Evening everyone, Paul Daniels here, what up X Daily. Right, I've got an emergency iPhone 6 that's got uh, what seems to be a TriStar failure. What'll happen is battery won't charge, battery's flat, but uh, if you try to put a lightning charger into here, nothing happens, but you put a charge battery on there, it starts charging, it's all fine. So it's pretty classic TriStar typical symptom. Alrighty, so let's get this thing pulled apart. And get the TriStar swapped over. If you use a the sickle hook, it makes it a bit easier to get this overfill off. You do want to get the overfill off, and you want to take a take it gently around these caps. Uh, one of the big complaints about the six is that it's a pain in the butt to get the uh, tri-star off without knocking the caps. But having one of these removal tools the overfill really helps that a lot. You can see I'm just able to slide it in between the cap and the TriStar without dislodging the caps and that's really handy. There we go. Now usually it's also underneath the chip a bit so we're just going to drag that. I'm only running at about 260, 270 centigrade on the... Uh, obviously I can't do those sides. Just knock this off. Take a couple of little bits out between the caps. Just so that doesn't contract and maybe start floating it off the pads. Okay, it looks good. Now, I've managed to misplace, it seems, my shield that I use. I uh, can't find the shields I normally use, so I'm just going to use this iPhone 5. It's a little bit over the top, but I'm sure it'll do the job. Ah, oh, come on. Unfortunately, it doesn't sit quite as well as I like. So I go for cleaning up my workshop again. Alright, that should do the job. I might go a little blurry here because I've got to use the... Um, what do you call it? The air filter. The flux, just to try and help capture that heat. I remember the iPhone 6 needs a lot more heat compared to so like the 5S or the 5C or even the 6S for that matter.
We're going to put down some leaded. This is going to make it easier for the chip to sit down. If we, if we don't have leaded solder on these pads, then when we try to get the new chip to sit down, ah, oh, crikey, I just. We try to get the new chip to sit down because it's got leaded ball, uh, lead free balls, it uh, doesn't tend to flow in as nicely. By doing it this way, we get a um, bit of a, I suppose you could say, we salting it or seeding it. Take your choice. get some of those threads over there. And obviously some of these pads can end up getting a little bit janky. It's better. Now remember for scale, this is my fingertip. So it's certainly not uh, something large that we're dealing with. Right now, we've got to get our orientation right on the iPhone 6. That means the pin 1 is down the bottom left here. As soon as I can, I've just got to put some flux down there. That should be more than enough. Let me play the how close should I make it to perfect game. I reckon that's pretty good. Alright, now we've got to wait for it to jump. Get that board out and have a look and see if the balls are okay. That one there is a little bit pancaked. Guess we'll see how it goes. Uh, so we've got 4.9 volt, no draw. Hopefully we should get about a 70 or so, 50 to 70. And we've got nothing. Other side. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. 